Do you agree that there are only males and females in the human race? No. So what are the other categories, if not male and female? <laughs> we are going to be here all night if, we, well, if, if, if I have everything that you have said on gender identity, gender expression, John money, um, pronoun usage, uh, what else? The sex gender distinction, you are 100% correct. Wow. You are 100% correct. I don't know if you've ever heard that from a trans person before. So I'd like to say that I'm actually a part of that organization that was going to come and try and derail you tonight. I didn't hear a single thing though that constituted an attack on queer or trans lives or an attack on me personally. So I don't know what they were on about there. Moreover, everything that you have said on gender identity, gender expression, John money, um, pronoun usage, uh, what else, the sex gender distinction, you are 100% correct. Wow. You are 100% correct. I don't know if you've ever heard that from a trans person before. I identify as a trans woman, you are 100% correct on that. And it is an absolute travesty that the trans community bases everything on such vacuous concepts. My thing is though, is I don't agree with your conclusion. Wow. Let's start there. You know what? I like that. This is the type of discourse I like being a part of. I like witnessing this right here. I can learn something from this. Yeah, I can learn something. Like seriously, and, and the fact that the trans person said that you were 100% you were correct. You probably never heard this from a trans person before. You might not ever hear it from again. So you better, you better eat this up. <laughs> but you were correct. That's dope. I think that takes a big trans person to do that. On such vacuous concepts. My thing is though, is I don't agree with your conclusion. I don't agree with it. And I, but more so the reason why I don't is less, um, a matter of argumentation and more so a matter of method. You've stated time and time again that your approach to this is to try and keep things simple and uncomplicated. Mm -hmm. As in, you don't try and engage with the nuance of the position of trans people. But that's exactly how my org treats you. They don't think that your, your, your arguments are worth looking at because they cast you as a transphobe. I did otherwise, and I looked, I'm like, yeah, no, this guy's absolutely correct on all these things. So which conclusion are you? You said you disagree with my conclusions. What's which the conclusion, conclusion that, of the model that you're postulating of gender? Of it's just this, you know, it's a, uh, it's a, you know, you have, you have man, woman, they're biologically contingent. My sort of question is, do you think that defaulting to simplicity, if this is the most dire issue of the age, which is something else that I agree with you on, do you really think that a method of simply recoursing to the most simplistic matter of approach is what we should be doing here? Yes. Really? Yeah, I do. Uh, you because, don't I mean, I, I appreciate, uh, I, uh, I appreciate everything that you said. And I appreciate your attitude. Uh, I very rarely encounter your attitude from um, that side of the, that side of the ideological aisle. So I appreciate, I appreciate that. But yeah, I do think that making it simple is the right approach because to my view, it is a very simple question. Now, if you want to get into the personal experiences of each individual and, you know, um, someone who is, uh, who's experiencing gender dysphoria and, you know, what do we do to, 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 to treat that problem? Uh, sure, there's all kinds of personal subjective nuances and things like that. Uh, you know, if, if someone is, if my child came to me and said that they were confused about their identity, I wouldn't just say, ah, oh, get out of my face. I would want to sit down and talk to them. And that's when you get into, that becomes a, sort of an interpersonal exchange. And so you get into some of those personal nuances and everything, and that's fine. But the underlying fact, the underlying reality is simple, that there are only males and females in the human race. There are no other categories. There's never, there is no third sex. It doesn't exist. Um, even though we hear about intersex people, you know, you know, an actual intersex person would be someone who has the reproductive capacities of both men and women, males and females. Such a person has never existed, ever. Um, so what I see here is a binary system, and in that way, it's very simple, and I think that has to be our message. Yeah. Wow. Um, and that has to fall so, um, so hard on a person who feels like um, their life is so complicated and is so, it's, it's really important that we stress how complicated it is and we touch on every single point that proves the complication of my situation. It makes no sense whatsoever what I'm saying, but I know what I'm trying to say. I apologize if I'm not giving it to you well, but yeah, he's just saying simplistic, um, men, women. I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, if my child was was to come to me and 
say that, then we'll have a good conversation. I'm not going to push them away. And it might even lead to that understanding that, you know what? All right. I had to come to grips that this is what it is. I would still even say respective to that, that even if from your standpoint, there's only this binary, there's two. There's complexities and nuances even within social navigation that still might be worth you looking into. I would also say that a lot of your facts also are off. Respective to, for instance, the first um, sexual reassignment surgery actually happened in the 1920s. So that was before John Money. So it's not yeah. a case that well, we I didn't had... say his was the first. What? I didn't, say his, I didn't say his was the first. I mean, it was probably the first one done on a two-year-old, but um, I said he was the one who invented. Je I, we started by saying you started by saying you agree with everything that I said, and now we're going back and you, you disagree. With that. I'm a little confused now. Well, yeah. My point is that if you have it to where you can get to a different conclusion from the same arguments, it means that there might be something deeper going on here that for people who are actually philosophers, not rhetoricians need to be dealing with. Okay, let me, I'll just, we gotta move to the next question, but let me just ask you this so we can clarify where we are. Yeah. Do you agree that there are only males and females in the human race? No. Okay, so you definitely don't agree with my, my conclusion then at all. We're, no. We actually are totally on opposite sides of this question, it turns out. Um, okay, so what are the other categories if not male and female? <laughs> we're going to be here all night if, we, well, if, if, if I have to do doing that. You we're know? not. No, no, we're not. Let's simplify it. That's why, he's, that's why he wants to simplify it so that you can be able to answer that question. He asked you that question and you were stuck. It is, but he asked you that and your face was stuck. You couldn't name one other. I mean, if you stand so, if you stand so firm on transgenderism, your side of it, Hey, you should have started naming them away. Bow, 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 bow. They probably demoted you from the LGBTQs after this because they was watching and they was hoping that you was going to bring it home, but you didn't do it. You got stuck. You got stuck, man. Or oh, women, I, I apologize if I called you the wrong thing. We are going to be here all night if, we, well, if, if, if I have to do doing that. You know? We're not because you, 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 there's none that you can list, so it's, it's actually well, a very short conversation. Of, all right, well, you're wanting to say that you have these other social categories, right? It's a question of, um, you're saying R, right? So the question here for me would be one of ontology, insofar as we're trying to posit that there is some kind of specificity, right? And you would look at something like intersex and say that this is like some kind of um, weird border case, right? But it's a question look. of the kind of um, continuum that would allow for one to um, come into an embodiment that you would cast as male and female. I mean, something that's very really interesting is you said that something like age, is um, makes more sense to identify as you at one point had um, what is it uh, female genitalia when you were in utero, so you've passed through that right. And what happens to intersex people is that there's just some kind of like different um, there's a different tra like uh, uh, of development that occurs there. So respective to us talking about these categories, it's not a case of there being this hard line thing. I mean the reason why we also are not going to get anywhere here is because I actually would agree with you that. Um, something like woman is what would, in a technical sense, be called a floating signifier. So it doesn't okay. have this like particular designatable meaning to it, right? All right. So that's I, why we're not going to go anywhere. Really that, that's pretty clear. Uh, but I, I appreciate it. Thank you, for, thank you for the question. Thank you. Um, well, I, I, just two quick, quick follow-ups on that. Um, is that the, one thing, I think that this is a tactic that you encounter on the left all the time when it comes to gender, which is to try to obscure it and make it sound complicated and to throw a lot of you know, these sort of um, abstract ideas into it. And from what I've discovered, and this conversation didn't change my view at all on that, is that that's the only tactic they have, right? Is to just try to make it seem complicated. But, but yet, while also not offering any alternative answers at all. And the, the final thing on, in, on intersex, because I, maybe someone else will bring this up, uh, just so we could get that, that question out of the way, because it always comes up. Number one, intersex, that, that category has nothing to do with trans, right? You know, trans man is a, is a, or trans woman is a biological male who identifies as a, as a female. So even if I were to agree that intersex people are some sort of exception, that would do nothing to vindicate the trans man, because that's a different category. But as it turns out, uh, intersex people are not an exception. These are people who suffer from a deformity, from a, from a, from a condition. 
Um, just like someone might be born with one arm rather than two, that does not negate or undermine the fact that human beings have two arms. Um, but if someone is born with only one, then you know that something went wrong along the way. They, they ought to have had two, but they didn't because something went wrong. So uh, a deformity or a sickness doesn't undermine the principle that we're dealing with. And there you have it. Not that he's going to walk away. He or she is going, going to walk away believing that because it has to be complicated. If it's not complicated, then you're saying that they aren't complicated and people want to feel complicated. They don't want to feel simple. Like I'm different. And this is why I'm so, I'm, I'm, I'm so much of a different thinker and different being that you'll always have thoughts of our last encounter because I'm that different and that special. And I know it. And here's another reason why, because I'm not only man, and I'm not only woman. I'm the opposite of both of them. It make no sense to me, but it is what it is, man. Please let me know where you stand on this in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button or the super thanks button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Please, guys, don't forget I have playlists. I have playlists of, of a lot of these different content creators and like... um. Matt Walsh, I'm new to Matt Walsh, but I have a bunch of other things that are very similar to um, this style of content. If you enjoy it, I have playlists for it. And once again, guys, my name is Van, and now we are all the LFR family, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video and hopefully inside the Patreon as well. You all have been amazing, man. Love y'all.